Welcome. In this video, we'll show you how to use the Network Configuration Dialog in Sidra Intersection 9.1. This video is prepared with examples based on the US HCM customary software setup with US customary units. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel, hit like, and leave a comment on this video. We'd love your feedback. Now let's begin. In Sidra Intersection, the sites and their connections define a network. This allows you to model many different traffic network configurations, including complex arrangements. You will need to prepare the sites under the Site tab before setting up a network. Under the Network tab in the Network Setup group of the Network tab ribbon, you can create networks using the Add, Clone, Network Templates, and Import commands. You can make use of the Network Templates command to add pre-configured networks and their sites into your project. To create a new network, click the Add button in the Network Setup group in the ribbon. This will open the Network Configuration dialog. Enter a network name as you wish. The Sites section in the Network Configuration dialog lists the sites that are available in the project. The use of unique site IDs is recommended to easily identify the sites in the network. To form a network, click a site name in the Sites section, hold, drag into the Network Configuration pane on the right, and drop. Click another site name, hold, drag into the right pane, and drop. The names of the sites used in the network will be listed in the Sites and Network section. Once used, the site name will appear in gray color in the Sites section. To connect the sites, click the gray connection bar at the end of a site leg. Hold and drag the green line that appears towards another site leg, and then drop in the connection bar on the destination leg. Repeat the process until all desired sites are moved into the right pane and connected. When aligning a site with an adjacent connected site, the pictures will snap into position. For moving the site pictures more smoothly, press the Shift key, then click the site picture and move it slowly. Use the Control key and click to select multiple sites at once. You can also select one or more sites and move their position using the keyboard arrows. Click green bars and drag to move the whole network picture. The legend on the left-hand side of the dialog provides an explanation of the colors used for the connection bars and lines. Green connection lines and bars indicate a valid connection with a consistent number of lanes and consistent approach and exit distance values for the two connected sites. 
To delete a connection, click the X button on the connection bar on either leg. You may wish to have non-connected sites in your network for various reasons. To remove a site, click the Delete symbol on the right-hand side of the site name in the Sites in Network section. Or right-click the site name in the Sites in Network section and select Remove Site from this network in the menu. You can also right-click a site image in the display and select Remove Site from this network in the menu. Once you have finalized the network configuration, click OK. Use the Layout button or double-click the network name to open a display of the network. Connection errors can exist in a network from a mismatch in the number of lanes at the mid-block connection point. Let's look at a network example with a connection error and make the necessary corrections to the connected sites. The network layout for a network with configuration errors will display arrows in red color to indicate the need for corrections to be made. Click Modify Network to open the Network Configuration dialog. In the Network Configuration dialog, red connection lines and bars indicate a connection error. Hold the cursor over the red bar at the connection point to read the detailed error message. A connection error can be corrected in the Lane Geometry Input dialogs of the connected sites. Let's change the Lane configuration of the roundabout site to correct the connection error. Right-click the site name in the Sites and Network section. Or right-click the site image in the display and select the Lane Geometry Input dialog. A confirmation message box will appear before opening a Site Input dialog to inform you that any changes you make will affect all networks that include this site. Click Yes to accept. Click the East leg in the Approach selector. Change the lane type to a full-length lane so that the approach lanes of this site match the upstream lanes at the mid-block connection. Click OK to close the Lane Geometry dialog. Note the change status in the Network Configuration dialog. Click OK to close the dialog. You will also see the corrections in the refreshed layout display. Dark orange connection lines and bars indicate a connection warning. This results from inconsistent approach distance and exit distance values for the connected sites. To remove a connection warning, you need to specify consistent approach distance and exit distance values in the Intersection Input dialog. You can open the Approach Distances display in the main window to view approach distances specified across a network. This display is useful in removing inconsistent approach distance values for a network connection. In the Network Configuration dialog, hold your cursor over the dark orange connection bars to view the detailed error message. 
select the roundabout site to make the correction. Open the Intersection dialog from the right-click menu. Select the east leg and change the approach distance to 500. Click OK to apply your changes and close the intersection dialog. Note the change status in the Network Configuration dialog with green connections only. Click OK to accept the changes and close the dialog. You will see the consistent values in the refreshed Approach Distances display. Once a network is configured and processed successfully, Network Output Reports and Displays will be available under the Network Output tab. The Network Summary Report provides network analysis results by movement class, pedestrians, and persons. By clicking the down arrow, you can open an output dialog which will allow you to configure your desired output display. The Movement Displays dialog provides additional options for displays by movement class. This concludes our tutorial on the Network Configuration dialog in Citra Intersection 9.1. To learn more about networks and routes in Sidra Intersection, be sure to view our overview and other tutorial videos. Thank you for watching.